You know the chrome nails everyone's talking about? I got it! And that's what we're gonna do today. Let's get started. So this is it here in this adorable little package. I'm a sucker for packaging. So I had to go to Vegas to the IBS show, the International Beauty Show, to get it. You can't get this stuff online. Mm -mm. Oh, come on. You gotta be able to get it online. No. Oh no, you can't. You have to go to Vegas. Oh. That's why you went. <laughs> so this is Nature Nail Decoration Incorporated. This is Lynn Decoration. I got it from her, from this booth that she had. And um, this is how it goes. Now, when I first saw this, I was blown away because it's a powder. We don't usually use powder to get that kind of look. Usually it's just a polish. You look for a chrome polish, right? So now this stuff has come out and you put it on with a powder application. Crazy. So I've been playing around with it all morning and it can be frustrating at first if you don't have these few tips. So I'm gonna work with these two. I'm gonna do something a little bit different. So I do have some nails on. I'm gonna do it on this end, of course. It's easier for you to see with the angles of the camera. Are you and gonna cover those lovely nails? <laughs> yes, I am. I'm gonna do a video on these. These are just gorgeous. I love them, but if I'm gonna put a new set on. I might as well play and learn some new techniques, right? This is what floored me. We are going to put black to get a chrome mirror look. How does that make sense? But that's what we're gonna do. So I'm going to buff the surface of this very, very gently with a fine file, okay? With a 240 grit, something along that line, something nice and gentle. Okay, I've buffed them all. Oh, you know what? I'm just gonna have this balance, you know? I don't wanna mess up. So I'm going to put two layers. And the reason why I'm showing you this part, I was just gonna come to this particular video with the, with the black polish already laid down, but there's a few tricks to this to make sure that the chrome look is perfect in the outcome. When you think about putting chrome onto anything, if the pre-surface is not flawless, the chrome will pick up on that, right? Chrome is mirror-like, glass-like. And whenever you do anything that's mirror-like or glass-like, it's going to reflect the surface. So any little dent or divot or anything on the surface will reflect any problem and you'll see it. The surface you're painting on it has to be extremely smooth. So I'm painting this on very thin. So making your application as smooth as you can get it, which is not easy to do with gel sometime. Oh, and I've got a cuticle stick in case I make a tiny little boo-boo, which I did. Just got a little bit on the skin there. Okay, now I'm gonna cure this. And I'm going to cure this in an LED for 30 seconds. That should be about it. Okay. Oh, good timing. Okay, I'm just going to put another coat on. And if you're putting these over acrylics, make sure your acrylic surface is super smooth, especially around the cuticle area. If you're putting this over natural nail, um, make sure that you've given yourself a good manicure and push back that dead cuticle so you, you're not painting over top of that. This looks great on short nails too. It looks good on any shape of nail. Okay, we're gonna go in for another 30 and do that top coat. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. I can't wait to show you this. This is just so cool. We were doing it at the shop this morning, and Lisa, one of the girls who works with me, was just like, what? She thought it was like magic. How can you turn a powder into mirror? How does that happen? I don't know. It's pretty cool. I got some new glasses. See the bling on there? I like those too. Okay, now it's here, it's second coat. So now, um, I've noticed some companies are doing this, and I think this might be a really good idea. Remember how I said it's gotta be super, super smooth? You wanna take that sticky layer of your gel off. It seems like an extra step, and it almost seems like, oh, should I bother? If you want it to be really, really mirror-like and flawless, this probably is a good idea. You can do it without, because when she did the demo on me in Vegas there, she did do it without, and it was pretty good. But I think this could help be a little bit better. Oh, that looks pretty, just the mat. Okay, so I'm gonna take a fine file, and you do want to buff it. And I think this buffing gives it an extra 
smooth so if there's any anything of any little bump or anything in there this will file it out before you put the final coat on which is just before you put the mirror the sparkle chrome on right okay so I'm just gonna quickly do this so I've just buffed them all and now I'm going to take a little pad. Now don't do this with nail polish remover. Do do it with alcohol or even acetone because nail polish remover sometimes has lanolins and some oils in it to, to preserve the skin around it when you're removing polish. But when you're putting on gel again, it doesn't work. So that was a sticky layer of gel when I put the black on. Now, this is the trick. We were going crazy, or I was going crazy in particular, because usually when you put a gel on, you put a top coat on of gel, and it has a sticky layer you remove. This stuff does not stick to that so well. Maybe I'm doing something wrong, but I decided to try a no wipe top coat. Worked like a charm. It, it worked like a charm. It was unbelievable. Okay, so I'm gonna put this no wipe top coat on. Try to put it on thin. You don't want to put these layers on too thick at all. This particular one I'm using is called Shine On by Accents. It's a new gel line, new to me. Uh, it's probably been around a while. It's from Canada and it is awesome. This stuff is super shiny. I really am in love with it. You say it out of Canada like it's a bad thing. No, no. <laughs> it's most nail products are not made out of Canada. Usually they come out of Hollywood or California, but it's kind of cool when something comes out of Canada. We've got more than just hockey and Canadian bacon, you know. <laughs> and now I've got accents. They were in the Vegas show, accents. Pretty cool. They went all the way down there and presenting their product. It's pretty cool. Okay, so I'm going to nuke this again for another 30 seconds. I'm going to cure. Did I say nuke? You did say Or did it. you say it? No, I think you said it. <laughs> I'm going to cure it. That's the proper term. I'm going to try to get better at saying proper terms. I'm trying to be professional, right? Okay. Um, I, actually, that wasn't really long enough. So I'm going to do it just a little bit longer. So once I do this, there is a no wipe on this particular top coat. So it is dry, ready to go, which is great for clients. You can just walk out the door. I do find when you have a top coat that you wipe the sticky layer, it doesn't seem to be quite as shiny. Maybe it's in my head, I don't know, but it seems like it's not. I do like a no white top coat though. No wipe top. A no wipe top. <laughs> a no oh, wipe. That's a problem, isn't it? No white top coat. I'm, I think I'm just too excited. Okay. So here is the application process for this. You can use eye makeup applicators. These are pretty cheap, you can buy these anywhere. And these silicone things, you can use these too, but the eye makeup things work pretty good. So here we go. But I'm gonna do something a little different. Here is the silver, I guess we can call it. And here is the blue. Okay, now watch this, this is so cool. It's eyeshadow, right? It looks like eyeshadow. Look at that. How can you turn a powder, a powder, into this amazing finish? So you take it and you rub it. You press a little bit hard. I pressed so hard I went right through these things. I was destroying them like crazy this morning. But look at it. It's a mirror. It's not amazing. I've been in the business a long time and I've never seen anything like it. So I'm gonna get a little jiggy though. I couldn't resist, I was like, which, which color do I show them? I don't know, I can't decide. So I am showing you two. Mm-hmm, that's right. I'm showing you two. Look at this. So I don't want to mix the colors up. So I'm gonna, I think I'll just stay with the pattern. Mess. 
press on the other finger. Okay, and I'm gonna use the tip. The applicator does work quite well, I will say, but I'll use the silicone ones to show you the dip. <gasps> Tell me uh, that isn't like the, the most amazing thing you have seen. What was that movie where the dude turned into liquid? Terminator. Terminator. That's what it looks like. I don't usually get this excited about a product, but I cannot stand this. You should see me at work this morning. I was like freaking out. <gasps> Do you see that? Do you see how beautiful that is? Okay, so I was playing all morning. Like I say, I did it with white and different colors and different colors. It's crazy, the combinations, and they are quite stunning. I went with this to show you for this video, but I've got more videos to come on this stuff when I do different combinations. But you can do this on white as well, but we, I did find it was the most deep, rich, the black base. Okay, so I'll do the full blue on the thumb to show you. Oh my, oh man. Oh. <gasps> you know, this looks better than when I did it this morning because I took the time to actually file it. I wasn't doing that so much this morning. This thing was like this high. <laughs> I put polish layer after polish layer. I was just too impatient to take any layers off. So I kept just polishing it and polishing it and polishing it. Ended up like really, really tall. But I didn't file in between and it was quite a bit messier. But this is like a mirror finish. And I'm going to get a little more blue on this one. Oh man, I can't wait to see the reveal shots on this. This was special, I even put a little bit extra makeup on today. And I bought a special bracelet for the, for the reveal pictures. Cameraman, I hope it works out. Oh nice. Yeah. I like it when you use a prop. I think that's the technical term. Yeah, that's the technical term. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm going to top coat this now. You do have to top coat to seal it. I don't, I've never worn it to see what it's like without top coating it. I'm just going to top coat this. Nice thin top coat, and then I'm going to cure it. Exquisite. Now you can see it is all over my skin and stuff, but before we do the reveal pictures, I'll just wash that off. Oh, wow. Mm, 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 mm. That is special. Oh, I know what I forgot to do. I forgot to use the silicone. You know what? We'll use that in the next one. Okay, I'm gonna clean these up and let's check out the reveal pictures. I'm so excited on this one. I've been in the business a long time and I haven't seen anything quite as exciting as this. I was doing an ombre this morning too. That video will be to follow. This would be great in ombre. I'm gonna play around with all sorts of colors and different colored uh, backgrounds as well. And I'm gonna post those on Instagram and Twitter. You can find the links to those in the description box below. Thanks for joining me in this video. This was super fun. I can't wait to work with this more. I'll see you soon.